Okay, everybody. I don't know if you'll be able to see this or not, but it's kind of ominous down here. Lots of fog, like a whole lot of fog. Um, oddly enough, I was just talking about fog yesterday um, to someone that I know. Um, actually, it's my cousin. But anyway, someone that I know. Um, fog to me is not is not scary. It's not. Um, I don't mind driving in it. Uh, none of the none of the usual suspects when it comes to how I feel, how people should feel about certain things. I don't. I like fog. I like to have fog every day. Um, but fog is like the time of year, springtime, of course. Um, I always feel like, you know, it's fresh, it's, it hasn't been screwed up yet, it's like a new chance at doing things. And fog kind of goes with that, except from a different angle. Um, it's fog, you know, I mean like, you can't, you can only see so far, and then you have to just, like down here, you can't see that the beach is right up here. You can't see that we're almost to the state park, unless you know where we're going. But if you didn't know where you were going, you'd only be able to see as far as you can see, and the rest of it you have to have faith. Well, I know that the state park is up here, so I, I know it's there, but with all the fog, it's hard to see. Anyway, I said all that to say, I, I love fog because it gives me the feeling of trust. Um, I trust God that even though I can't see, I, I got his hand, he's got my hand, and, and where he's leading me into the unknown, and I, I just, I'm completely flabbergasted that there's such an unknown out there, um, but I still trust. You know, if anything, I'm hanging on to his hand tighter than before. But I'm saying all that because we're at a time in our lives right now where so many of us are, um, you know, the virus has been bad. And this has been, you know, a weird situation for the whole world right now. But the virus is not the thing that's really eating people up right now. I mean, there's surely, yes, you know, it's scary and people are getting sick and people are dying and it's, you know, there's that. But there's so much more than just that. There's this um, panic and dread in the air of what's coming out of this. Like business owners not knowing if they're gonna be able to be in business when this is all over, not knowing if they'll be able to hold on. Um, people that are shutting down, what are their employees going to do, you know? Um, there's a lot of unknowns out there. And, you know, jobs are not the, not the, um, not the only one that's a concern. I mean, not the only thing that you're, you're wondering, you know, there's, our existence as human beings is unknown. And I'm not saying like we're all going to die, that's not what I mean. I mean, when this is over, it's gonna be a new normal. You know, a lot of the businesses that used to be there won't be there anymore. A lot of employees will be changing jobs. But more than that, you know, this is kind of a fresh start for people. It's like um, a reboot. And that's, you know, when you do it with your computer or whatever, a reboot, it's just like a, you know, you start fresh and you're all of a sudden everything is working better and um, you can, you can do things you couldn't do before because now you've rebooted and it's, you know, another chance um, to screw up your computer. <laughs> um, that's kind of where I feel like I'm at as a person anyway, is all of this time shut in and all this time to think about, you know, my life, where it's been, where it's going, all that kind of stuff. And I know everybody else is thinking the same types of stuff. Um, who knows? From here on in, who knows? I personally, I have hope and I have peace about this whole thing. I'll, I have ever since it started. Um, and like I told somebody, if I die from this, I still have never been. I've never been upset. I've never been where um, I just feel like things are going to be okay. Um, but I've said all that to say, we're here now in this this time of our life. Everybody, at least in the United States has got a chance for a restart, a reboot. Um, most of us have been, you know, pretty much quarantined behind closed doors in our homes with just each other this whole time, or at least a large part of it. Um, 
what are we gonna do when we get when this is over which I believe is gonna be sooner than later when this is over are we gonna go back to business as usual or are we gonna think about the stuff that we were doing before and pick and choose what's usual because I know I don't know about you guys but some of my business as usual I don't want to go back to that I don't want to go back to some things the way it was you know because you know people are talking about going back to normal I'm not sure there's a whole lot of things in my normal that I don't need to tweak a little bit um, I want to fine-tune I want to I want to see what we can do better on it you know I I just do and um, I don't know if you guys just kind of get a, a clue with what I'm saying um, yeah more later see ya